what are your plans after law school what kind of law do you see yourself sticking to for the long run this question is literally one that i've been asking myself i'm still thinking about this but i guess i'll tell y'all uh oh the game in trouble started out small and they paying me double yeah you can drip shit baby like must yeah. Hey y'all, it's Jordan or Jorwish and welcome to or back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be answering all your questions about my law school journey up until this point in my life. So it's kind of a long one, so grab a snack and without further ado, let's get right into the Q&A. Okay, so let's get into some questions. I haven't sat down and talked to you all in a minute and I want to. Well, this is on 4%. <laughs> So I'm just gonna use my phone. Thank you to everyone who asked me questions. Make sure you all follow me on Instagram and that's where I ask, like, ask me the questions. But I also ask you all things in the community tab on YouTube, so check that out. For context, today is January 14th. So I just finished my first week of classes for my last semester of school ever. Because I also am going to something that I actually have to get ready for, so. This is not for fun see, this is for multitasking. But anyway, the first question was, do I like make income from content creation? And the answer is yes. Like I make money from doing YouTube and TikTok and stuff, but it's not my main source of income, but it is a nice side hustle. So that's a quick yes. For my brows, I'm just using the Benefit Brow Gel. But um, I recently got my makeup done, y'all, for my graduation photos, and my girl Maya did my brows so good. Like, I want to learn how to do my eyebrows like that. So, she's doing my makeup again on Tuesday, and I'm going to be, like, everything that she uses on my eyebrows, I'm going to go buy that from Sephora. So, I don't know how long I'm going to be with this eyebrow gel, but this is, like, my old faithful. Like, you cannot go wrong with this. Because if you just want like a natural eyebrow, it's super easy. You literally just brush this stuff on there and it fills it right in. And I just go with like my natural eyebrow shape and it just works out. But I have, the thing is I have so many of these that I forget which one is the newest one. And the newest one has like the most pigment in it. So I'm always trying to find it, but I found it. Okay, yeah, this, this is really about to get me right. And it may start off looking dark, but after the concealer and all that, it ends up looking quite good. Yeah, you just have them look crazy. Now, I literally have like stuff in the middle here, but it's gonna come together. Before I do concealer for these eyebrows, next question. Let me show you my nails. Aren't these like the best nails ever? Like I always get the same color and my girl kills it. These are my real nails. It's just gel overlay, dip powder, dip gel. I'm gonna conceal my eyebrows. I have not worn makeup. Well, I will say I have worn makeup, but I haven't done like my own makeup since I got back in town. And I'm loving it. Like I love just being home with a bare face, going out with a bare face. But I also love getting glam. But I'm just saying I've been loving my makeup break lately. By the way, this is um, Kosas Concealer in the color 8. It's really good. It's a nice lightweight concealer that still has enough coverage for me but it's not heavy. And sometimes I even be using this as foundation. So while I put primer on, the next question that you all asked was, how is the career services at Howard? I think that's how you phrased it, or like the, at UCLA we had the career center, so I'm just so used to saying that, but the career services at Howard. Um, I think they're okay. I mean, I personally have not used them. Um, I have a whole video on how I got my firm job one a year, but basically I just did it on my own. Like I just um, emailed all the firms way earlier than the career center would probably tell us to do it, but it worked for me and I am 100% a proponent for that because listen, the early bird gets the worm. So instead of waiting around for when they told me to apply, like I just applied on my own, but um, the career services at Howard are pretty good. Like we have a lot of connections to a lot of firms. I think like anything in life, what you put in it is what you're going to get out of it. I didn't really put much into my career services interactions. I just did it on my own and it worked out fine. But when I did have questions, which I did, like as far as negotiating with firms and stuff, um, they were right there helping me and you can just text people from there. Like it's, it's, it's good to me, but, um, that's my experience with it. It's limited, but what I've done so far, I mean, I can't complain. Like, 
shoes. The foundation that I'm using is Fenty, and I'm pretty sure I'm the color 40. Oh no, 420. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot my spray bottle. Hold on. I had to go grab the water. Because what is a dry beauty blender? Like, no. Yeah, but this is 420 Fenty. This is like the, um, this is a hydrating long wear foundation and not like the one that comes in the regular bottle. Actually, y'all, what am I even doing? I brought a whole clip to get all this hair out of my face because you know, this is a lot of hair. Hair is back, it's nothing but face. Oop. I just do two lines, just like that, and that's all the foundation I wear. Okay, so the next question is, do I have a post-grad job? Yes, I do. I've had my post-grad job, honestly, for a while. Um, so I, during my summers, I worked at the same firm for like my entire law school career. Like I did one all summer with them, then I worked. After one all summer, I worked during the, the school year, two well with them, and then two all summer I worked with them. And then now as 3L, I work with them during the school year and I'm also gonna grad, like work with them when I graduate. So yeah, I do. I do have a post-grad job. And most people usually you have your post-grad job um, after your 2L summer, but it's different for everyone. But I would say usually in law school, like by your 2L summer, at the end when they, you'll get an offer for full-time, for a full-time. Position at the firm after you take the bar and graduate or graduate and then take the bar blend the blend blend I've been kind of pale lately so I'm happy this foundation is giving me some color like I've been pale and I thought I was gonna get a tan in Dubai but it's winter there too so I guess the sun wasn't really beaming it was warm but it wasn't like tanable weather to me Okay, we have a lot of questions, so I need to I need to stop acting like we only got like four questions. How has law school changed you as a person? Uh, it's changed so much about me, honestly. Like, not to be a downer, but I think law school has like definitely impacted. Wait, is this the right color? Yeah, law school has definitely impacted my mental health. Like, I don't think I was this anxious before. Actually, I know I wasn't. I don't remember ever being this anxious about school, about anything. But um, the stress of 1L just like really got to me. And I think ever since then, I've just had like a problem with anxiety. So that's a change. I mean, I'm definitely better at it than I was 1L year. Like I'm, I can calm myself down and whatever, but it's there. So that is a change for sure. I think I'm more just aware of um, society and it's like in a way it makes me more nervous because like dang like the police can really just do anything y'all and they can lie and it, it ain't nothing like it's it's a lot crazy it's I mean and you know people probably already knew that but like when you are like in class and learning that it's just a little different so yeah it's kind of made me just like more aware of society but also and the same way that I'm nervous, I also kind of know that like literally whatever can be litigated and they can argue anything like. So, yeah. And also like the way you think is different and you'll probably think differently after like just 1L in general. But, and I think law school has also made me more confident um, in myself. I, not to say that I wasn't confident before, but it's just made me even more confident and to just everyday life and in, in all aspects of my life, I think I'm just more confident and I can just, um, and that's also just with me growing up as well. Like I started law school when I was 21. Wow, I started law school when I was 21 and I'm 24 now, so yeah. Um, so yeah, just growth and I think my, I just know more, like I literally just know more. So with all that, um, you know, you know better, you do better, and like, so much has just changed in my head, I don't know, like, I didn't even really know what a lawyer did, for real, quite frankly, before, not even, like, even when I came to law school as a 1L, I really didn't even know what a lawyer did until I worked at a firm my 1L summer, and that's because, um, sometimes, like, you just can't know what something does, just because of, like, how the job is, which makes sense, like, you can't necessarily do legal work when you don't have any legal training 
so like i know about law firms but i didn't really know really what lawyers were doing i didn't know really that like transactional what a transactional practice even was or like that it was separate from litigation that you are just i don't know there's just so much i learned so I think that's kind of how it's changed me as a person is because it's just made me like open my eyes to stuff that I was ignorant to before. So yeah, let me know in the comments like how you all think law school's changed me. Cause I'm sure as viewers, you all can probably notice things about me that I might like take for granted or like I don't really notice it for real. So I'm, I'd be interested to see like how you all think I've changed, especially some people have been watching me since I was in college, so that'll be interesting i probably just like kind of calmed down a bit i feel like in college i just had so much energy but i think overall law school changed me for the better besides the mental health downfalls but maybe that would have happened inevitably like we don't know one person said budgeting in dc hmm i can't give any advice on budgeting if anything i need to be asking people for budgeting advice in dc so i don't know about that i would just say to just save money when you can because random stuff comes up specifically pertains to dc like parking tickets or if your car gets towed or broken into just stuff be coming up and you know you gotta you gotta go to brunch you gotta go to the club like it's hard it's hard out here but you know we're not gonna let money stress us out this year that's one thing i ain't doing i'm, I'm done i'm done being stressed out money gonna come to me and everything's gonna be fine dream a travel destination i don't know i've been going to a lot of places that i wanted to go to i really want to go to do just like a, a large tour of asia i want to go to india i have different vacation modes like sometimes i want an exploration vacation where i'm just literally exploring a new place sometimes i want a relaxation vacation where it's like it can be a place that i've been to five million times but i just know i can relax there or a turn up vacation where it's like, it's a girl's trip and all we're doing is going to the club and just turning up and looking good. So, but I would say dream for exploration, probably maybe Tokyo. Yeah, I would say Tokyo is like a dream. Like I, I'm gonna go one day, but right now it's just seemed like such a dream to go there. I like to let my concealer sit a while because I just feel like I need it to like stick to my face. But it's been about a while, so I'm gonna start blending it out. And for powder, I'm using Rihanna Fenty. This is like the best powder ever. Like, it literally makes my makeup look professionally done. What kind of law do you see yourself sticking to for the long run? For the long run, I don't know. Honestly, legal work is so boring. <laughs> It's so boring sometimes. And it's like, no matter what law you do, I think it's like the similar gist. Like lawyers kind of do what no one else wants to do. It can be quite tedious. It can just be like, I don't know, weird work kind of and just tedious. But like, so like, even if you were like, oh my gosh, I'm the lawyer for, let's say like your dream company, like, oh my God, I'm the lawyer, I'm a lawyer for um, Yves Saint Laurent. You're still doing like the grunt work. Like you still can do, be doing doc review for them or um, diligence for them, so yeah. But I think, like honestly in the long run, I don't know if I'll really be like actively practicing law, y'all, like I really don't know. Um, like I could see myself in the long run maybe being a professor somewhere or just being like a legal commentator or something, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be in this. But so far so good, like I haven't, like me personally, I haven't had something where I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to get out of this. Like no, like all my work experience has been great, which is why I continue to do it. And why I've been working basically all through law school is because I've been having a fine day time. But you know, I have heard stuff from people and I'm just being realistic, like, you know, cause I've kind of just been like a summer associate for like all of law school. I don't think I've been like really working. So it's a difference between when you're like in your, intern kind of position versus real deal so we'll have to just stay tuned with how i feel about that maybe we'll come back to this question after like one to three years about me practicing law but i just got into hustle 26 i'm so excited and your youtube videos are such a help anything to expect congratulations for getting in girl i'm pretty sure this was a girl who wrote me but i just have all these questions like on a microsoft word document so I can't remember who wrote what, but I'm pretty sure it was Zoro who said that. Yeah, congratulations. 
because I just know when I got into law school, no one could tell me anything. Like I was so happy. I think I was like drunk for a week. Like I was just partying in school. Like I was on a high. I was on a high and yeah, literally no one could tell me nothing. So congratulations, first off. And anything to expect, you know, just expect to like join a new community. And I would say come into the school with an open mind. Try not to come with too many expectations because that's just not, you don't want to go into a new experience like that. Like I came in like, I think bright eyed, bush tail, like that's the perfect way to do it. But also be prepared, you know, you watch my videos, so you clearly on the end, like you know. So yeah, but I'm just super excited for you. Like you should be really excited. Do you see yourself living in DC after graduating or would you like to move somewhere like NYC? Okay, if you would have asked me that like a month ago, I would have been like, hell yeah, I'm staying in DC like, da 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 And it was really only recently, like probably within like, the, maybe the last week where I've been like, mm. I know DC is where I wanna end up, like when I decide to like settle down, you know, start a family, all that, DC for sure. But until then, I'm like, dang, like maybe I, I could really just go wherever. Um, but I like DC for now. Um, and I can't see myself really living in New York right now. I, that city stresses me out. And I feel like New York is one of those places, either you like love it and you're one of those people that goes there and you just feel at home, just feel like you find people, or just feel like this is a place for you. Or you're like, how the hell do people live here? And I'm the latter. Like, I'm like, what? Like, you just got garbage, mountains of garbage like that. Or like, you know, I mean, DC got rats too. I can't lie, but like the New York rats is a different breed, okay? Or, I don't know. But like, the thing is, I feel like when, when I start making more money, maybe New York won't be so bad, but I haven't really done New York on like glamorous, really New York trips. It's been like, we're the real, like, we, what are we doing here? We on a train, <laughs> we, but I don't know. But I, I'm also like never say never. Like my life has just been all over the place. Where who knows what I, what to expect. But I am open to living somewhere else. But right now the plan is to stay in DC. So I hope that answers your question. I do my makeup so fast. I'm not contouring, so that's no. I already feel like I look more like myself now. I'm gonna be using the same highlighter that I always use, Anastasia Glow Kit. Yes, I'm so loyal to the Glow Kit because I still, shoot, shoot. Okay, I'm getting my money's worth out of this palette. Have you narrowed down what firm you will go to after graduation? Yes, um, and I'm about to just put a disclaimer now. Soon, just stop asking me about work because I am not talking about that on my channel um, for quite obvious reasons, but yeah. But yes, I have, and I've had it narrowed down for a while now. I'm retaking my LSAT for the fourth time. Is that bad while I apply to schools? Mm, I mean, I don't think so. I think if you're retaking it, then you know you're doing it for a reason because you want to get a higher score. And it can be a lot to manage, so it just depends on your bandwidth. Like, But I think if you are like only studying for the LSAT, then maybe you can do it, but like if you're also working, it might be a lot to apply to schools and do that because I just know you just want to put your all in your in your law school application. You don't want to leave anything on the table. You want to just put your all into that so that when schools read it, they're really getting like your best work and your representation of you. So if you think that you can do that and like write your best work and stuff while also studying for that crazy exam that I hate, um, then yes. But if you're like, you know, maybe you should just like take the time to like only study for the test first and then once you have that score, it'll give you even more confidence to like write your applications and stuff. But I would say not to rush it, like it's okay. Law school will be there and um, you know, take your time and just be in the moment, but I'm sure you'll be fine and good luck on the LSAT by the way. Highlighter. I love to overdo it with the highlighter because I'm trying to be beaming. Like I literally put this everywhere. Nose, and I put like a pound of it on my cupid's bow. I had so much. It just makes such a difference. I think it even makes my lip products look better. Let me chill out. <laughs> I do too much with the gamma. All right, so next question. At Hustle, are there a lot, Hustle by the way is like the acronym for Howard Law. 
Howard University School of Law. Okay, at Hustle, are there a lot of networking opportunities with companies other than big law, like property law, business law, etc.? Well, I think yes, but it's definitely not as easy um, as big law firms because the firms just have that whole fair where you just go to them and you talk to them or whatever. I think there's still networking opportunities for all types of law. It's just they come when they come. Like, we'll just get a random email. And we get emails about jobs like every day, even as a person about to graduate, like we're still getting pinged about jobs. I think it's like you have to kind of go to a certain society. Like we do have business law society, I'm pretty sure. And you know, so like within those clubs and orgs and stuff, that's kind of how you'll network and meet alums who are in that field. But also, you know, people come to Howard and stuff. So I think there are opportunities other than big law, but definitely like the big things are big law and like your typical like public interest jobs, like going into being a public offender I might take a break because I think my camera is about to overheat. Okay, mascara time! Blink, blink. It's so hard to put on mascara when you don't have a mirror. How was the experience 1L to 3L? As far as difficulty, I think 1L for sure was the hardest. 1L fall, for sure. Hardest because you just don't know. Like, you just don't know what to expect. You just don't know what law school is like. So, the uncertainty is terrible. Like, just waiting all that time for your grades. As in, like, the uncertainty is also terrible because you don't know what's going to be on the exam, really. Or, like, how you're just going to feel in that moment. But I've definitely taken some hard classes in between. But it's just, like, the mental toll isn't as bad as 1L because, one, I already have my job, so... You know, as far as grades go, I'm really just trying to pass everything, which, you know, so far so good. I haven't even gotten my grades back yet because apparently they lost the grades or they lost the exams. Something is always happening at the school, but apparently like they lost the exams. I don't know if that's true. I saw it on Twitter, so I believe it. Yeah, but 2L was still hard. Like I just took, cause I've taken, consistently taken a lot of doctrinal classes. Um, and you don't have to do that. Like you can just be taking a bunch of seminars and be writing papers. But I was like, you know what, I need to learn this stuff anyway, so let me just learn it now at this school. I'll let you know if it was worth it when I get to that point, but that's just been my strategy so far. But I think it gets easier. I didn't, I also was not that involved in school. Actually, I wasn't involved at all in anything. <laughs> I don't think I'm a part of any club. Um, I am in a clinic though, so that counts. But as far as like a society, a journal, I didn't do any of that. So that's probably why it always got easier because I just always had like a lot of free time. But I did work, so I guess, you know, that was involved. This eye is always harder to do. Or maybe, maybe it was just hard all three years and I just got used to it being that hard. But I'm trying to think, I'll just tell y'all some hard classes um, off the bat that I've taken. One of the hardest classes were Civil procedure and property, those are hard. Then federal income tax, that was a hard class. Um, evidence was hard for me. I mean, hearsay, that stuff, that like really tripped me up because it's not that intuitive. So yeah, I would say evidence and then, I'm taking secure transactions now, so that's seeming like the hardest thing in the world, but I've only had it for one week. So I can't really be too accurate on that. Property for sure is a hard one. So I think that's why I would give it to 1L. But it's also like relative. It depends on like the type of classes that you like and how you like to learn. And like if you like more rule based or whatever. But those were the hard ones for me. And I just think so much rides on 1L and like the 1L curve is also just kind of steep. Like once you're out of that, it's rough, but at least you know the worst is behind you. And at least you won't have a job. That helps with everything. Wow, my eyes look so different now that I have mascara on. But the mascara isn't even, so I'm about to be doing this for a minute. I'm going to a birthday thing later for Evie's birthday. I'm so excited. She got a karaoke room. I haven't been to one of those in forever. I wanted to do that for my birthday, actually, but it was just about to cost way too much money. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not paying this. I'm not paying this. I ended up buying myself a bag, but I'm excited for the karaoke room, okay? I gotta think about what song I'm gonna do. Oh, my boyfriend isn't coming to this. Cause like, you know, we have like our, our songs. So I was like, dang, we could do our songs, but I'm probably, I'll probably do a song with T or something. What are your plans after law school? After law school, I am going to chill. That's my plan, 
chill before I have to start working and like, you know, take that terrible test of course too. So yeah, we get like a week or two of like vacation before we start bar prep and then, you know, go do that. And then after that, I plan to just like travel and live my best life before I start working. What is your updated study routine? I actually don't study really. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but like, I don't necessarily have too much of a study routine. I would say I still kind of do the same things as one out. And I recently did a TikTok about showing like me doing my whiteboard. Nowadays, what I do is I would say like six weeks out of the exam is when I'll start studying. But throughout the semester, I try to keep an outline. I try to like weekly update it, it's just whenever I feel like it. I'm not too pressed anymore. And, but I try to have like that outline done like by, well a good chunk of it done like before the reading period for sure. And then I'll just start studying then and I'll just memorize using my whiteboard. If it's closed book, if not, I'll do like a lot of practice problems and all that. I have a whole video also explaining my studying stuff, so I'll try to link that as well. But I don't I don't do the most. Like when I was doing the most, but now no, I ain't that deep. Someone else could have a yeah, I ain't that press for right now. How do you manage free time in law school? I don't know, and this semester is gonna be tough because y'all, I like I said, I work a job, I have YouTube, I am a student. And I also agreed to like be like a TA person for federal income tax, the class. Sorry y'all, I'm a little, a little under the weather because I did a photo shoot. I took my graduation photos in January wearing like that skimpy little dress and I was freezing. So I think my body just recovered from that. Don't worry, I took a COVID test and I thought, oh, how do I manage my free time? I wake up very early and I don't only wake up early, but I knock stuff out early. So I try to get all my YouTube responsibilities done before my first class of the day and like, and I'm, and I kind of set a hard boundary with that too, unless I'm like actively in a negotiation or conversation with the brand. I try not to respond. I'll do the communication I can in the morning, and then after that, done until the next morning. So yeah, that's how I manage that. I also try to stay on top of my readings. I still read for the week if I do read. Sometimes I just don't read nowadays, but if I am in a class where I'm like, okay, I need to read, I'll knock out the reading for the week. I'm not wasting time reading for the week. And then I like to have free evenings if I want to go on like a date or hang out with friends, do a happy hour or just events come up. Like I like to be free in the evenings. So yeah, I think it's just really having a schedule. I do my to-do list the night before and I just knock the stuff out. But take your time with it and just know one thing about law school is like you're never done. Like you're never going to be like, oh my God, I studied enough. Like no, that comes until like the end of the semester. Like there's, you're always going to have something you could be doing. But um, you know, eventually y'all will just chill out and be like you know what like let me just take care of myself like and you just do you have to know yourself and just kind of roll with it but it takes practice and I've been like a super busy overactive person like my whole life and my mom is the same way so I think like we have the saying busy people get things done and literally you tell a busy person you want something it will get done but for some reason people all the time in the world like they just struggle to like do stuff yeah you just you gotta slide that time in there if it's a high enough of a priority you will get it done. Okay, last question. Even though I was debating if I was gonna do my hair on here, y'all. Oh, I cut myself. I was gonna do my hair. I just need to, um, I hate putting heat in it though. I don't think I need any more heat, y'all. I think this looks fine. I could do a little curl. I can make this work. Yeah, and that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I don't feel like it. Um, and these curls, these curls are um, a week, a week old. No, I love them. My hair is a little greasy, but it's okay, a little shine. I went crazy at the beauty supply store and bought like every one of these. Oh, and I gotta open it. And I can't even bite it how I want to because I've got my retainer in. It's a lot, of child. Oh, I love it. This question is literally one that I've been asking myself, like, I'm still thinking about this, but I guess I'll tell y'all, like, my thoughts a little bit. And it's, do you plan on making content after law school, like, day in my life as a lawyer, etc. And I don't know, um, I don't know. I don't know because, like, work is different. A lot of my YouTube stuff has been academia, and, like, that stuff is fine. But, like, as a professional, I'm just not one that... I don't know how transparent I'm gonna be with that aspect of my life. Ooh, I look good with this hair and this makeup. Did I do that? I think I did that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna talk. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Let me know your suggestions 
below i know um and also i think it's because like i just i'm just don't know like i just don't know um and i haven't really seen that go too well with people like when i be seeing people who do that either like a month later they're like i quit my job and i'm like what like you were just making day in the life of a lawyer and now you quit your job like and i'm like and i will hear that like part of this came up with their job or something so i'm like oh my god yeah so no and i don't know if i want to like have that as my niche like i think i'm just so much more there's so much more to me than my profession so i think this will be more of like me as just a person like i think i'll you know and, I, and work stuff will still come up but i think i'll i'll just still keep it just general like lifestyle and do it that way but I don't think I'm gonna stop doing YouTube. Like it's just such a big, I can't just abandon y'all. Like I think I'm gonna keep doing it. Definitely gonna be on a hiatus when I'm studying, but um, no, I think I'll figure it out. But like also if I'm in it and I'm like, you know what, I do wanna show this and I can talk about this and I'll do it. But um, I don't necessarily have a set plan yet, but it's something that I think about pretty much every day. And I'm just kind of envisioning and like manifesting like what my life is even gonna be like. So there's that um but yeah this is the final look y'all i definitely love it i'm like dang should i give y'all like should i put on my outfit already but i don't know what i'm wearing and i'm not going out until later it's two now so i don't know but going into this year i am just trying to live in the present a lot because i everyone's like it's gonna fly by and you're gonna miss when you're a student so i'm like okay like let me just fully relish i'm a student like take the school for what it is for now i'm trying to vlog a lot for you all because it's going to be your last chance to get law school vlogs out of me so i'm really trying and um yeah i'm just i just can't believe like we made it so far like i'm not only a 3l but i'm a 3l in spring semester like in less than six months i'm going to be done with law school done with school forever i'm going to have a whole juris doctorate degree what what i'm going to be a lawyer what little old me little old me so yeah and i'm just really grateful to you all who have like stuck by me through this whole journey and if you have comment that if you want like oh my god i've been watching you since like 1l 2l or even if you just started like hey welcome to the fam but it definitely helps and it motivates me to like continue making content when you all do share like stuff like that because i'll be feeling like okay maybe no one cares like maybe i should just stop doing videos and just i don't know be a non-content creator and that but you know, I'll be like, this be the one person who's like, you know, I love your videos and they make me that make my day. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it for them. So yeah, but that's it. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Uh oh, the game in trouble. Started out small and they paying me double. Yeah, you can drip chip, baby, like mustard. Yeah.